Hello everyone, welcome back to my course. So in previous video, we just discussed about some of the common bugs and errors and we had solved it. I gave you the resolution also for the same. Now you have learned Salesforce, what's next? You must be willing to know about Salesforce career and certifications, right? So here's the right module for you. I'm going to walk you through today about all these admin certifications as well as other Salesforce certifications which you can do, how to register, and how you can give the exam. So after the certification details, I'm going to walk you through all the jobs and profiles which we have in the market and which one is suitable for you and which one to choose as per your interest. So there are millions of jobs in Salesforce ecosystem. Whatever your interests are, there is a path for you. So let's take a look at the different certifications. So now here is the complete list of certifications. Salesforce is releasing more certifications than ever before. And if you're like most trailblazers, if you just have an urge to complete the certifications, just go and catch them all. So there are 40 plus Salesforce certifications out there and you will find the complete list on this page with information on the recommended experience candidates should have, exam topics, plus the resources which will help you to prepare. So let's talk about the admin certifications first. You have Salesforce Certified Administrator. It is the basic level one certification. So whenever you are done with your learning with Salesforce admin, you can always go for this Salesforce admin certification, which will create an add-on value to your resume. So this certification is considered the baseline credential for any admin. And passing this exam will showcase your knowledge on Salesforce features and best practice configuration. So I'll tell you the pricing and what is the basic format of the certification. You will have to answer 60 multiple answer questions into this exam and $200 is the fee for this particular exam. The entry level is 6 to 12 months and there are no prerequisites for this. As I said, $200 is the fee for this particular exam. Now the next level of certification is Salesforce Certified Advanced Administrator. So this Salesforce Certified Advanced Administrator is a level two certification where it's just one level up from the admin certification. In this certification, you will have to study about the basic admin configurations. Plus it may ask you some questions related to flows and process builders primarily. So this is also um, the advanced features and functionality to solve a variety of challenges. The cost for this administration certification is also the same as $200. The next one is platform app builder. This certification was earlier used to call as uh, DevOps certifications, which I had done, but then now they have called it as platform app builder certification as they introduced lightning into Salesforce and they had created app builder into Salesforce. That's why this certification is now known as platform app builder certification. This is a level three certification, which also adds some value to your course and learning. There are no prerequisites for this certification as well. You just have to study your admin configurations and then you're good to go with this certification. The pricing is also the same for this certification, which is $200. So these are the three basic certifications for admin. Now, if you want to uh, pursue for another certifications for developers or consultant, there are different job profiles available in market. I'm going to walk you through other certifications as well, apart from this. So these are designer certificates. You have user experience designer certificate, which is for uh, aspiring or experienced designers, where you can build and design human centered experiences on the Salesforce platform. Uh, the fee for this exam is also the same as $200. Now there are consultant certificates. There is one certificate, which is called sales cloud consultant for consultants working the full time project life cycle of sales cloud implementations. You can prove that you can design, build and implement sales cloud functionality. The fee is same $200 for this certification as well, but this is a mid level certification. So it requires a little bit experience. You cannot do it in the beginning. It's allowed, but then if you do it in the beginning, it will not add that much value because people will understand that you have just done it for the sake of doing it, but it actually requires two to five years of experience. Once you have hands on experience in admin, and you have done basic certifications, then you can definitely jump onto this certification. Now we have CPQ specialist 
certification. This is for the people who are working on to court managements in CPQ. Mm -hmm. So you can just prove that you can design, build and implement CPQ functionality through this CPQ specialist certification. The cost of this certification is also the same as our $200. Then the next one is service cloud consultant. As you know that uh, Salesforce is categorized into separate clouds. So they have kept separate certifications also. If you are interested in service cloud, then this certification is for you. If you are good with customer service and case management, you can go for this certification. Then the next we have field service lightning consultant. So we have FSL, which is the full project life cycle of uh, field service lightning implementation. If you're interested into this topic, then you have separate certification for this. Then the next one we have is experience cloud consultant. So this experience cloud consultant will include all the clouds which we have sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud and commerce cloud. All the four clouds will be included into this experience cloud consultant. You don't have to uh, primarily focus on one cloud. You will be certified if you have knowledge of all the clouds of Salesforce. Then you have Tableau CRM and Einstein Discovery Consultant. So this is uh, one of the features which is recently added into Salesforce, Einstein Analytics and uh, Tableau CRM. The more graphical representation of your Excel where you can upload your Excel files and then convert the data into graphical representation. And uh, if you're interested into this topic, this certification is for you. Then you have non-profit cloud consultant. Now, there are few organizations which Salesforce is using for charity purpose. Let's say there are few uh, non-profit org where the Salesforce cost is low for the charity organizations or the government organizations to be more precise. So this non-profit cloud consultant is for you if you are interested to work in those government organizations. Then you have Education Cloud Consultant Certification. So as you know that Salesforce has recently launched Education Cloud, which is only for education system. So if you're interested into uh, growing more into this industry, into this cloud, then you can go for this certification. Then you have the next is Omni Studio Consultant. Now Omni Channel, if you remember my case management session, Omni Channel is something which is used to drive or the case management in a better way where you can route your cases to the agents based on their appropriate or relevant skill set. So this Omni Studio is something which is intended for individuals who have experience in um, consulting on building cloud applications using Omni Studio, which is a customer facing role. So the next certification which I'm talking about is uh, platform developer too. So there are two categories into this uh, section like we have into admin, you have admin certification and then you have advanced admin certification. The same way if you want to become a platform developer, you have two positions, you have two certifications, platform developer one and platform developer two. So this is just the next step experience developer where you can prove your experience by developing custom applications on the Lightning platform, proving your understanding of platform behaviors, limits and performance considerations to meet a variety of business requirement. The next you have JavaScript developer one and two. So these are for individuals who have the knowledge, skills and experience developing front end or back end JavaScript applications for the web stack. So these skills can be applied to any framework and are not mobile or device specific. It's the first platform exam that tests the knowledge outside of Salesforce platform tools. Then you have industry CPQ developer. Earlier the certification was a CPQ consultant. If you want to grow your career into CPQ industry, CPQ tool, then you can go for CPQ consultant certification. But if you want to develop things into CPQ tool, then you have the certification for you, which is industry CPQ developer. So the Salesforce industry CPQ developer credential is designed for individuals who have experience developing configure price quote applications for the Salesforce communications, media and energy and utility clouds. This certified industry CPQ developer is able to build products, promotions, pricings and rule for use in order and coating processes. Then the next we have Omni Studio Developer, like we have Omni Studio Consultant. If you want to consult things and uh, suggest things to your client, 
then you can go for Omni Studio Consultant certification. But if you want to develop things into Omni Studio, if you want to create things on your own, then this is the certification for you. Where this is intended for individuals who have knowledge, skills and experience developing cloud applications using Omni Studio declarative development tools. This certified Omni Studio developer is able to design and configure applications using Omni Studio tools, including flex cards, Omni scripts, integration procedures, data raptors, calculation procedures, and matrices and industry consoles. Let's talk about some certifications into Commerce Cloud. The first one is B2C Commerce Developer, which should have experience developing e-commerce solutions with Salesforce B2C Commerce Digital, including the storefront reference architecture, which is SFRA, and various APIs. Then you have B2C Commerce Architect. So this should have experience designing global sites using B2C Commerce best practices throughout the SDLC, including core architecture concepts like modularity, reusability, and designing feature-proof components during SDLC across all the layers. Now, all the above certifications which we discussed has the same costing as $200. This particular certification, which is B2C Commerce Architect, is for $400. Then you have Salesforce Accredited B2B Commerce Administrator. This Administrator should have experience configuring and managing Salesforce B2B commerce and Salesforce core products, including storefronts and functions available for end user. Then we have Salesforce B2B commerce developer, the same as administrator, but it, this will require some Apex and Visual Force if you want to create into uh, Commerce Cloud, then you can go with the certification. The next we have some certifications for Salesforce architects. If you want to become a data architect, this certification is for you, where you can assess the architecture environment and requirements and design sound, scalable performance solutions on the customer 360 platform. Then you have sharing and visibility architect. These are for architects, analysts and application managers who want to prove they can design a security and sharing model, database model based on complex requirement. Implement secure, scalable security models on the force.com platform and are able to communicate the solution and design trade-offs to business technical stakeholders. This certification also cost you $400. Then we have identity and access management architect, which is for the designers who access the architectural environment and requirement and the design secure and scalable identity management solutions on the Lightning platform. This certification also cost you $400. The next one we have is integration architect falling under the same costing. It's for architects, analysts and application managers who want to prove they can design, implement, secure scalable integration with Lightning Platform and are able to communicate the solution and design trade-offs to business and technical stakeholders. Then we have development, lifecycle and deployment architect. Those who are interested into um, working on designing an appropriate governance framework and complex deployment and development strategies to manage the development and deployment cycle on Lightning Platform, this certification is for you. Then you have Heroku Architect. This is for designers with extensive experience in um, architecting scalable solutions, deploying and managing apps and managing teams and build workflows on Heroku. Then you have Application Architect which has a deep understanding of native Salesforce features and functionality, as well as the ability to model a role hierarchy, data model, and appropriate sharing mechanism. For this, it's a senior level certification. You should have five plus years of experience if you want to qualify for this certification. Then you have System Architect Certificate, which focus on off-platform certifications or off-platform systems, integration, securing access between systems, as well as managing governance, and testing capabilities for deployment and ongoing Salesforce modification requirement. Then you have B2C Solution Architect. This certification uh, is designed for those who have experience in architecting and driving multi-cloud uh, solutions into B2C sector. You should have generally two to three years of experience working as Solution Architect, acting as uh, if you want to 
qualify for this certification. Then the same way uh, we have B2B solution architect and we have certified technical architect. Then you have some uh, certifications for marketers who works in marketing cloud. The first one is we have Pardot specialist. So Pardot is a third party marketing automation tool which can be integrated with Salesforce which is the which is a high demand on market. Mostly people who uh, works in marketing department would love to work with um, Pardot and as it is provided by Salesforce so you don't have to work in any other platform you will be working with the similar kind of look and feel because it's integrated with Salesforce. After you integrate it, you will be able to use the same UI as of Salesforce. You do not even need a separate login for uh, Pardot. You can use the same single sign-on login which you use to log into Salesforce if you want to log into Pardot. So this is for Pardot specialist, those who want to learn Pardot. You have Pardot a uh, specialist and Pardot consultant if you want to work on full projects life cycle of Pardot implementation then you can go for Pardot consultant certification. Then you have marketing cloud admin. So the difference between marketing cloud admin and uh, other Pardot specialist and Pardot consultant certification which you saw is in marketing cloud admin it will cover all the marketing application tool which we have in market like uh, exact target and uh, marketo and pardot as well but if you go for pardot application or pardot uh, architect or consultant certification then you will be able to learn only about pardot not the other marketing automation tools then we have marketing cloud email specialist, same as Pardot. You have two categories into marketing cloud also, admin and specialist. And then you have consultant as well. Then the same way you have marketing cloud developer. If you want to uh, create your personalized dynamic messages, then you can go for this developer certifications. So this was about all the admin and the other Salesforce certifications which you have. If you're confused about which certification to choose, you can watch the next video which is about the salesforce jobs and profiles available in market you can decide your interest which profile you're interested in and based on that you can choose any of the certification so stay tuned for the next video